Alright guys, welcome to my in-depth special for the second batch of gauntlets. I'm going to be showing you six epic Bout of Honor fights using each of these gauntlets. The first one is my favourite one and it's the Cestus of Zeus and it is absolutely mad. You can see it's got physical and magical attacks and that's why I've used this armour setup that I'm going to be showing you now. So you want the mantle of Zeus and then two pieces of the Olympus armour of Zeus and it is really really sick. These gauntlets look mad as you can see, they look absolutely crazy and I think you guys are going to enjoy this a lot. Both the attacks are actually really really good, especially the L1 square one though, it's actually probably a little bit better than the L1 triangle but they're both really good. So you can see this match is a Cestus of Zeus versus the Minotaur hammer. Round one. Begin. Begin. Round two, fight. Knockout. Round three. Fight. Knockout. Round four. Fight. Knockout. Round five. Fight.
Knockout. Round six. Fight. Final round, fight. Cestus of Zeus is really powerful and agile and it is really cool so let me know what you think about these gauntlets in the comment section below I actually think they're really good they're probably the best gauntlets that I've used and I reckon you could actually win in 4v4 or match of champions with these so I'm going to be definitely doing a few gameplays of that the next gauntlets that I'm going to be looking at are the Cestus of Hades and they are really good to be fair they're both physical attacks which is why you need to use the armor setup that I'm going to be showing you now but you do get some good stats and some good extra health so what you want to do is have the Olympus armor of Hades and then two pieces of the godly armor of Hades and that's going to give you quite a lot of physical power but still having a little bit of physical resistance which is quite important also gives you some elemental power when you want to use your magic as well so in this fight it's the Cestus of Hades versus the Claws of Olympus and you can see that the Claws of Olympus are absolutely epic so I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay and I'll speak to you at the end Begin. Round two, fight. Out. Round three. Fight.
lockout. Round four. Fight. Round five, fight. Round six, fight. So the Claws of Olympus have clearly won out in the end and I think that they are really superior to these gauntlets. They are pretty cool but they kind of remind me a little bit too much of the Nemean Cestus. But if you like the Nemean Cestus or just like using Hades in general, I would definitely recommend these gauntlets. The next gauntlets that I'm going to be looking at are the Cestus of Poseidon and these ones are absolutely mad to be fair. They're probably on par if not a little bit worse than the Cestus of Zeus. But they look awesome as well as you can see there, mad octopus head with all those razors. They look really really awesome. What you want to do is have the mantle of Megara to give you some physical and then you want to have the Olympus armor of Poseidon twice as well to give you a bit more physical as well as elemental power. So in this bout of honor it's the Cestus of Poseidon versus the Blade of Olympus and this is one of the Olympian weapons I was probably going to get after this I'm not so sure. I kind of think that the gauntlets and the hammer look a lot better but it's up to you. Let me know what you think about that one guys. The L1 triangle triangle attack is absolutely mental and is amazing but this L1 square one here is actually really easy to parry so I'm not so sure about that. It's probably going to be a four star in my opinion but I don't know until the review but let me know what you guys think about this in the comment section Knockout. Round two. Fight.
knockout. Round three. Fight. Knockout. Round four. Fight. played a few times with these gauntlets now and I actually really really like them, I actually think they're better than the gauntlets of Poseidon, so if you like Poseidon or you just like the look of these gauntlets definitely go and buy them, they're not that expensive for what you get and I reckon again you'll be able to win match of champions fights with these. The next gauntlets that I'm going to be looking at are the Cestus of Ares and you get one magical and one physical attack for these, the stats aren't that great but they're pretty good. The armor set that I'd recommend is the Mantle of Tisiphone and then two pieces of the Godly War Armor of Ares and that's going to give you a little bit of elemental power a lot of physical and a little bit of physical resistance as well. I just did a review of the Mantles of the Furies pack so definitely go and check that out but this is actually my favourite from that pack. In this bout of honour it's the Cestus of Ares versus the Warhammer of Olympus and I was kind of leaning towards getting the Warhammer of Olympus but after this I'm definitely going to get it, it just looks amazing. I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay, let me know what you think of the Cestus of Ares in the comment section below. Round two, fight. Knockout. Round three. Fight.
knockout. Round four. Fight. Round five, fight. So as you can see there, the Warhammer of Olympus is absolutely crazy and I'm definitely going to be unlocking that. I'm not so sure about these Cestus to be honest, they're probably my least favourite of all the new match of DLC, but maybe in a different game mode they could be a lot better. But if you like Ares, just get these gauntlets anyway, like I said they're not that expensive. The fifth pair of gauntlets that I'm going to be showing you are the gauntlets of Jason and these are actually free in the USA. It's two magical attacks with these and they are really really cool. They're not amazing so it's probably going to be about a four star I think. It's kind of an upgraded gladiator gauntlets kind of and they look similar as well but a little bit better. But this is the armor set that I would use. Two pieces of the godly armor of Zeus and the mantle of Zeus and that's going to give you a hell of a lot of elemental power and that's what you want to do definitely. In this match it's gauntlets of Jason versus the spear of destiny so let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. I actually do like these gauntlets and I'm going to be putting a little bit of time into mastering these as I did really like the gladiator gauntlets as well. Begin. Round two, fight. Knockout. Round three. Fight. Knockout. Round four. Fight.
Perdición. Knockout. Round five, fight. Knockout. Round six. Fight. Knockout. Final round. Fight. So if you live in the USA, definitely get these gauntlets because they're free. If you don't, I would still recommend them, especially if you do like the Gladiator gauntlets. It's actually a really technical set of gauntlets and they are really enjoyable to use. They also look really cool as well. So the final set of gauntlets that I'm going to be looking at is the Gauntlets of the Furies and it's one physical and one magical attack for these. They're actually really, really similar to the Cestus of Poseidon. Not quite as good in my opinion, but I do actually really like the L1 square attack. It's really awesome. You're going to want to use the same armor set that I showed you in the previous Hades loadout. In this Battle of Honor, it's the Gauntlets of the Furies versus the Godly Hammer of Poseidon and it's quite a fun battle this one, so let me know what you think of it. Also, let me know what you think of these Gauntlets. They're actually really good with Hades, I think, because you can just keep spamming that L1 square. I know a lot of people hate spammers, but that is kind of the best thing about the Hades class. So let me know what you think about this in the comment section below. Knockout. Round two. Fight. Round three, 
fight! Knockout. Round four. Fight. Knockout. Round five. Fight. Knockout. Round six. Fight. I'll definitely recommend these gauntlets to anybody. They're actually the third best in the batch and they are really, really good fun. I think they could work well in Match of Champions as well, especially with Hades. Let me know what you think about these in the comment section below and obviously all the other gauntlets. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Definitely check out my review of all the new mantles, the Mantles of the Furies pack. They're actually really cool and definitely worth the buy. I really like these gauntlets as well and I'm going to be doing a review in a few days, maybe on the weekend or maybe next week, depending. I kind of want to level up and get those Olympian weapons. I'm probably going to be getting the hammer and the gauntlets, but I might be able to get the blade as well if I've got enough time. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you then.